So today I'm doing a makeup tutorial inspired by Blackpink's Lisa. I'm doing two looks from the Boom Bye Out music video. This one that you see and the other one you saw in the intro. I thought it would be really fun to try to do both of these looks. Little did I know that doing all of this would take so long. I have been wanting to do this makeup tutorial for so long, literally a month. I have been buying things and planning it out and just could not wait another second to get this out to you guys. What really inspired it all was Lisa's pink eyeliner in the Whistle music video, which I'm also doing two looks from Whistle. Link will be in the description down below. It's just kind of a passing thought like, oh, I could do a makeup tutorial because I have pink eyeliner. And then I really thought about it. I was like, maybe I should. And then I was like, maybe I should do four looks because they're so easy. I wanted to do Boom Bye Off first because I've been doing this particular look almost every day. Like, this has become my everyday look. This is my first time ever trying to do a makeup tutorial. I had quite a few struggles, but it was really fun and I really enjoyed it. So, I hope you guys like this video. And if you want to get this look, keep on watching. So, I'm starting out with this sample that I got from the face shop. It's the Velvet Skin Primer, and I'm just applying it all over my face. I'm focusing most of the product in my T-zone because I get super oily. It actually worked really well. It felt really nice on my face and it smelled really good. You'll notice me kind of talking as I'm putting on my makeup. I was going to include my commentary, but it just made the video way too long. Next, I'm going to be using my NYX Color Correcting Concealer in green. I'm basically focusing it on my cheeks and nose, but then also putting it on places that I want highlighted, so like my forehead, cupid's bow, and chin, and cheekbones. Also, you'll notice I figured out how to do close-ups the day after filming all of those blurry close-ups in my intro. <laughs> Sorry about that. Next, with my NYX Color Correcting Concealer Palette, I'm going to be using the orange color under my eyes to conceal my dark circles. Then with my All May Press Powder, I'm just going to apply one layer all over my face. A majority of the makeup that I use in this tutorial is drugstore. <laughs> Now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Concealer. I'm going to apply that under my eyes to further conceal my dark circles and then I'm going to apply it in all the places that I want highlighted just like my NYX concealer. So I'm putting that around my eyebrows, um, my forehead, nose, chin, cupid's bow, cheekbones. Then I'm just kind of spreading it out with my finger just because it's faster. It doesn't look that bad from the camera, but it's really just like patchy and smeared all over my face at this point. So I'm going to be using this e.l.f. brush and I just dampened it a little bit and then I'm stippling over my face where I place the concealer to just moisten it a little bit. This is kind of the same effect that you would get using a sponge, maybe like using a cheap sponge. 
Then with this dense powder brush from Real Techniques, I'm going to be buffing in all of the concealer. I actually got the Real Technique sponge, but I, I just couldn't figure it out. I, <laughs> I don't know if that's like a thing, like people don't know how to use beauty blenders, but, but I'm one of them. So this is definitely a good substitute if you lack skills in sponging your face. Then I'm just going to add one more layer on top of that concealer with my All May Press Powder. It's really hard to see what's going on with her face in the music video as far as like contour goes because there's a lot of scene cuts, there's like some filters, different lighting. So I'm going to be showing a lot of screenshots of like the look that I'm doing. So here is my reference photo for what's going on with her cheeks. I'm going to be using this Morphe brush and Bare Minerals all over face powder in warmth and just kind of doing like upward circular motions, staying kind of at the back of my cheeks. Um, basically what we're trying to emulate is the V-shaped face. Then with the all over face powder in Glee, which is like a warm pink color, I'm going to be putting that as I'm showing you here, kind of like on the outside of the bronzer that I just applied, trying to still maintain that V-shaped face. And I don't want it to be too intense, so that's why I'm just like lightly patting it on. Then with this fluffy Morphe brush and satin sheets from my Too Faced Bomb Bomb palette, I'm going to try to add a subtle highlight as I kind of showed you going kind of downward to again further enhance that V-shaped face. I said subtle, but I just kept messing with it and it ended up not being that subtle. But you know, I don't think subtle highlight is a thing. Oh God, okay, so my brows did not go as planned, so just kind of ignore them. We'll just pretend like they actually did what they were supposed to do. Here's my reference photo for basically this entire look and probably the only time you can see her brows. I'm going to be using this angled brush by e.l.f. and this gray color from my Morphe Multicolor Matte Palette and I'm going to be doing my eyebrows very lightly. I just want them to look more feathered in and more structured. I don't want them to be too dark or defined. Then with this illuminating skin primer, which is another sample that I got from the face shop, I'm going to be using that as eye primer because I don't have any. <laughs> to be honest, it worked really well. I really like the slight shimmer that it gives off. And then with this Morphe brush and Cashew Chew from the Bon Bon palette, I'm going to be applying that all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone. And then with the same brush and the middle shade from the like 
brown to orange transition shades in the multicolor matte palette. I'm going to be accentuating my crease starting from the end and going in like a triangular shape and just creating a slight shadow there. And then my camera died and I realized I wasn't like that close so I tried to get closer and that didn't work out because it's blurry as heck and I didn't realize that. But I'm just kind of showing you again what I was doing with the last two colors you just saw. Then with the single shadow from the face shop in red, it's kind of like shimmery and almost pink on application. I'm going to be putting that really close to my lash line and just packing it on. Then with this fluffy brush, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it and just blend it all out. You want the color to look very faded. I also added a little bit more product to kind of help it out. Also try to keep a lot of the color on the lid and try not to go up into your crease or brow bone. Then with like a flatter fluffy brush, I went in with molasses chip from my bonbon bon palette and just spread that all over my eyelid. Then with that same orangey brown middle shade, I'm going to be adding that on my lower lash line about like one third of the way in from my outer corner. And then with the red color from the face shop, I'm also putting it in the same spot, just kind of blending it together. Then with Bordeaux from my Bon Bon palette, I'm going to be making like a triangular shadow underneath my lower lash line starting from my upper lash line going in sort of a triangle shape and then coming just under my lash line Then using dark truffle, I'm going to be putting that in my waterline to further intensify the shadow. For eyeliner, I'm using Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen. I really like liquid eye pens because they're just so easy to use. Basically for your eyeliner, you just want to keep it on the thinner side, straight and sharp. Now for mascara, I'm just using Rimmel Scandalize Curve Alert. Now this picture makes the look relevant to the music video. You see that little sparkly dot under her eye? We're gonna try to imitate that with some tear shine that I got from the face shop. It's basically just a glittery eyeliner and I'm going to be placing that under my egg yourself. Um, <laughs> she has it more close to her lash line but because my egg yourself is so curved, I put it underneath so that it's not hidden. And I'm doing three dots the first one bigger and as I go up my eye, it gets smaller. Then for lips, I'm using this Touch My Lip Liner that I got from the face shop in the color Dust Rose. I kind of conceal my lips and then I'm focusing a lot of the color on the inside of my lips, not really wanting to line my lips all the way or make them look too full. 
giving it a slight gradient. And that's it guys, that's look number one. I got my cleansing wipes from Daiso, let's move on to look number two. Here are the reference photos for the second look that I'm doing. Everything is staying exactly the same, concealer, foundation, bronzer, blush, highlight, eyebrows, that's all the same. I'm even using the same Skin primer as eye primer, like I did in the last one. And again, I'm using Cashew Chew to put all over my lid, all the way up to my brow bone as a base color. Then this time, I'm using Mocha from the Bon Bon palette to create that triangular shadow starting at the end of the crease. And I'm adding a little bit in the inner corners of my eyes. Then using Bordeaux from the Bon Bon palette, I'm going to darken up that crease. And then I'm just going to be going back and forth between Mocha and Bordeaux until I have a nice blend. Now I'm going to be using some clear mascara and I'm going to be patting that all over my lid where I want my glittery ColourPop eyeshadow in the color Get Lucky. Shout out to my friend Bailey for telling me about this little mascara glittery eyeshadow trick. <laughs> and I'm just going to be patting on all of the eyeshadow with my finger because I wanted as much color as possible and this was the quickest way. Then with the brush, I'm just gonna kind of blend out the edges and make sure that the gold is blended in with the browns from my crease. Then with Bordeaux and Dark Truffle, I'm going to be doing that same shadow on my lower lash line. Bordeaux will start from my upper lash line and going just under my lower lash line. And then I will use Dark Truffle to fill in my waterline and darken up the shadow. Then eyeliner, I'm doing my eyeliner a little thicker this time, but it's still sharp and straight. Mascara time. You could use lashes for this look. It definitely looks like she's wearing some, but I don't really wear lashes, so I didn't want to. And then I tried to add some tear shine to see if it would add some more sparkle, but it really didn't make a difference. Then with my Dust Rose Lip Liner, I'm going to line my entire lip this time. I want them to look fuller and bolder. Now you could probably stop at this like bright look with the lip, but I wanted to kind of tone it down a bit, so I'm using this NYX lipstick in the color Talia, which is like a nude pink, I guess, and it kind of draws attention away from the lips and keeps them onto the eyes. And that's it, look number two is done. 
So that's it for this video, guys. This is look number two. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I enjoyed making this, though it took forever. You guys want to see what time it is? It's 2.20 in the morning. I started this at 4 in the afternoon. Um, had a lot of technical difficulties. This is my first time using an actual camera. Did not know what I was doing, but I made it through. And now that I figured everything out after this first try, expect more makeup tutorials in the future. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know that I can keep making more and you guys will watch. Um, if there's any tutorials you would like to see, let me know down in the comments below. So that's it. See you guys next time.